And I don't think you've ever seen something like this, unless you've seen it on one of my other videos. <laughs> this is a downward gravity flame rocket stove with a twin vortex spin and collision flame running smokeless. Set up in my hybrid teepee currently. Uh, it's a seven meter, seven meter diameter teepee. It's quite a big one. But uh, yeah, it's got a nice big cooktop on there. Uh, it's got my earlier design uh, secondary air intake system that will be, um, well, has been upgraded on the latest one, but uh, I'm not uh, ready to show some latest designs yet. But it's a nice big window on the back there so you can see the flame coming backwards. But yeah, well, uh, that's a little pellet feeding hole in there. Uh, we'll uh, start her up and see what we got, guys, girls, whatever. I just love this thing. Heat up the chimney first. Get the air flowing up, yo. This one's got a twin pallet basket system, so I need to light both sides. Well, she's going good. Unfortunately, it uh, hasn't been used in such a long time. It was a bit damp and there's a bit of uh, grime build up there. So I'm going to have to wait till she... Um, Stops, runs out of pellets and cools down, then I can take the glass off and clean it and whack it back in, then it should be sweet. But yeah, that's downward flow anyway. You see it's starting there and there, it's getting a twin vortex spirals coming off each side, and it's both flames are colliding in the middle and pushing down all the way down into this chamber down there and up. And out. Also getting a secondary air um, intake out of these holes here and you're getting this nice uh, flame curtain effect. The triangle y'all. Running smokeless too. Clean air. Oh, it's just Mudville again here. Look at that. Unbelievable bubble. They say mud is good for the skin, like a face pack or whatever, but um, pretty much over it. It's getting that full downward flame effect. sucked into the um, air pipe there on the bottom pretty cool this one takes a lot of pellets you've got the twin chambers burning and it's just a massive flame effect it's just so bloody hot ball of the jug pretty quick this is a seven meter teepee but this is still too big for it Cool. Oh, I hate a dirty window. It's also because you've got, as I say, you've got two sides, two um, baskets burning. So this side here wasn't quite as hot as this side on startup. So all the soot was kind of building up. Yeah, she's not a perfect thing, but oh my god, when it's going good. It's Pretty unbelievable, really. As far as I know, this is the first downward flame of its kind. 
Yeah, I was just scratching my head over months and to get it to work and you know it's been altered so many times and uh, still I just chucked it all aside because um, I need to upgrade the whole pallet system and the and it's got an outdated uh, system on the back there for the secondary year. The triangle. Yeah, I mean something like that's got a lot of work in it. Oh, I don't know if I'd sell them. I mean, yeah, I mean how would you even get that through um, certification? I'm not sure. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty, pretty cool thing to get going. Look at that lovely flame curtain. Ears just sucking down into those holes. People seem to think that um, the smoke will rise up through the holes, but in reality, it's like an engine. It's just sucking in air. It doesn't care. It just defy gravity to get its air. It likes it. it likes it coming in up hot. What actually happens is um, she's all up to temperature now and it, it clears the glass. It just gets so hot that it burns the soot off the glass. It uses the energy in the soot to create a little bit more flame and boosts it up the chimney. Smoke three. You get... So, uh, yeah, she's just humming along. My God, it's hot. So, uh, yeah, this is probably the last time. Um, I'm going to run this one for a while. Uh, I'm just setting up a workshop at the moment, a shed, and I'm going to alter the back and um, yeah, get it a bit more cleaner, burning. Pretty cool though. That was definitely a challenge to make. I do want to make another one. God, it'll be a high-end product though, because there's so much bloody work in it. This is more of a more of an art piece in a way. I don't know. <laughs> it's snappy. Pretty hot in here, isn't it? You could dry off over there. Flames. Kind of looks like two devil eyeballs or something so flaming. It's my bed. That's about it. Uh, Mudville. Real muddy mud too, eh? It's, oh god, it's, it's just so slippery. It doesn't drain. Need some gravel, yo. Yeah, so uh, like and subscribe if you like the stuff. There's more coming. No, yeah, I'm on very limited data at the moment. This will take me about eight hours to upload. <laughs> pretty, pretty rural out there. Oh yeah baby, look at that, full downward flow, nice clean glass, got the secondary um, flame curtain about to come into effect, just needs a little bit more air there, you can see little strands of um, unburnt smoke it's sucking down, that's quite a cool effect. that flame curtain comes out. Oh, so beautiful. This is definitely my favourite one. Wow.
disaster unit. Nice nest. Over there in there, way you put your mud over there now. <laughs> what a crazy looking thing. I wasn't really thinking so much about what it looked like, more, more about how to get the flame going downwards. Because flame does not want to go downwards. It was a matter of uh, me. Um, compromising what I want and letting it have what it needs and uh, finally came to some kind of uh, agreement here. A secondary combustion flame, I mean that's how you know you got it sussed. You, when it, you know it's just superheating anything remaining in the, in the uh, wood gases, the smoke. Anyway guys, what do you think in the comments? Uh, currently want to um, make rocket stoves my new job. And I'm kind of hoping I kind of get it right really.